tangent and its equation. So we have discussed about the tangent with the three cases of position of a line with respect to ellipse. Now let's see what is the equation of tangent of an ellipse. Say for example, I take the ellipse in standard form with origin and here is the tangent at P or I have the tangent at P which is x1 y1. Now how do we find the equation of this tangent which touches the ellipse at P x1 y1 where equation of ellipse is s equals x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0. So for this of course assuming that a is greater than b I want to find equation of tangent of this with respect to ellipse s equal to 0 is given by the formula equation of tangent t at p x1 y1 with respect to s equal to 0 is given by s1 equal to 0. So this is the way we find equation of tangent s1 equal to 0. We know what is x1 s1 and hence equation of tangent at the point p x1 y1 with respect to the ellipse s equal to 0 is given by s1 equal to 0. Now let's see the condition for tangency. When does a line act to be a tangent to the ellipse is what we're going to discuss here. But the topic condition for tangency. If suppose I have an ellipse s equal to 0 in standard form with x axis, y axis and this and for this ellipse I have a tangent say y equals suppose I have this tangent to be y equal to mx plus c then for the ellipse given by the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Of course, here a is greater than b. So, condition for this line to be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is simply that c square equals a square m square plus b square is how we identify the condition or this can also be taken as c equals plus or minus root of a square minus a square m square plus b square. So condition for y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is c square must be equal to a square m square plus b square or c must be equal to plus or minus times root of a square m square plus b square. Condition for tangency. Now as we have discussed with condition for tangency let's recap with the condition for tangency connected with equation of tangent to the ellipse. Say for example, we have the condition for tangency as c square equals a square m square plus b square for the line y is equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So this gives us the condition that this has two values that is c equals plus or minus root of a square m square plus b square. Therefore, I have two values of c which I can substitute for y equal to mx plus c. That implies these two values of c 
give me two lines one given by y equals mx plus c which is plus of root of a square m square plus b square and the other given by minus that is y is equal to mx minus of root of a square m square plus b square is how we understand the two cases of y equal to mx plus the root and mx minus root. So these are said to be the two tangents for the ellipse. There are always two pairs of tangents for the ellipse in this case. Let's see how those two tangents look like this and this in the diagram of ellipse. Therefore, if I take the equation of ellipse in standard form, then I have the ellipse with major axis and minor axis and hence This is the ellipse in standard form. And for here, if I have a point where the line is the tangent, I'd say this is given by y equals mx plus root a square m square plus b square. Then the other line with the same slope is a line which is parallel to this. Therefore, any line which is parallel to this line t1 and touching the ellipse s equal to 0 would definitely exist. There are two pairs of tangents which are parallel in the ellipse as we have seen in the circle. Therefore, this tangent equally has a parallel tangent out here so that this can be. Therefore, there exists tangent T2 which is parallel to this and also which is a tangent to the ellipse here. So therefore this is the point of contact of this with this and this is the point of contact of this line with the ellipse and because this equation is given by plus root of the minus root of is obviously a line which is parallel to the tangent drawn here and exactly which is having the same slope and therefore these two lines being parallel this equation is y equals mx minus root a squared m square plus b square. Therefore, this gives us the learning outcome that there are always one pair of parallel tangents to the ellipse. So the learning outcome is there exists one pair of parallel tangents to the ellipse. That's how I come with the learning outcome for the ellipse. This tangent and this tangent are parallel. Therefore, T1 is parallel to T2. One of the tangent T1 given by equation y equals mx plus root a square plus a square m square plus b square. And the other tangent T2 given by y equals mx minus root a square m square plus b square. The pair of parallel tangents connected with condition for tangency. Now let's see the equation of chord joining two points. So for example, I have the equation of ellipse in standard form with x axis and y axis out here. Now for this ellipse in standard form, assumed as s equal to 0 with s being x squared by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0 then we know that a chord is a line segment joining two points of the ellipse therefore let me take the chord which joins these two points p and q with p equals x1 y1 and q equals x2 y2 so equation of chord joining p and q given with p the coordinates x1 y1 and q with coordinates x2 y2 pq is the chord and we have equation of chord pq is given by 
S1 plus S2 equals S12 is how we get the equation of chord. So equation of chord PQ joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by S1 plus S2 equals S1, S2. The notations which we have already seen is substituted to get the equation of chord. Normal to the ellipse. What is a normal? As we have seen in the circle that a normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent and passes through point of contact. Here also we define normal in the similar manner. Say for example, I have an ellipse. And I have a tangent at P out here in the point P. Then the normal is said to be a line which is perpendicular to the tangent and passing through P. Therefore, this would be the line which is passing through P and which is perpendicular to T. So here we call this as normal and we call this as tangent and remember the normal is always perpendicular to tangent and the special case being that it passes through P and also to note N passes through P which is the point of contact. is how we understand the normal to the ellipse s equal to 0. Equation of normal. Let's see, now that we have discussed about normal, next comes on what would be the equation of normal, just like the equation of tangent to the ellipse. So, the topic is about identifying the equation of normal. So let me take the ellipse in standard form and define the equation of normal at point P or the point of contact. Say I have the ellipse in standard form with center origin and this is S equal to 0 where the equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 equal to 0. And say I have the normal existing at this point for this, where this is the tangent and I have the normal here. So I want to find the equation of this normal n, which is perpendicular to this at the point of contact p x1 y1. So equation of normal at p x1 y1 with respect to s equal to 0 is given by equation of normal n at p x1 y1 with respect to the ellipse s equal to 0 is given by a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 equals a square minus b square. Assuming that x1 and y1 are not equal to 0 is how we define the equation of normal to the ellipse at p x1 y1. So therefore equation of normal at p x1 y1 with respect to the ellipse s equal to 0 is given by a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 equals a square minus b square is how we understand the equation of normal to the ellipse. Now here it is very important to note that there are two special cases for equation of normal. Say for example, I have a 
the ellipse in standard form as s equal to 0 but here there are four extremities one being a a dash and the other being b and b dash now as we know that if suppose i want to find equation of normal at b then this is 0 comma b and 0 comma minus b therefore equation of normal at b if i just would like to draw i have a tangent it goes like this and this is exactly perpendicular therefore the special case is the equation of normal at b and b dash are parallel and these two being parallel i have this acting as the normal so the normal at b and b dash acts as the normal which is y axis therefore the special case is equation of normal at b and b dash is y axis or given by x equal to 0 is how we identify the special case equation of normal at b and b dash is nothing but y axis as can be clearly seen a tangent drawn is perpendicular to the line passing through b which is nothing but y axis and similar is the case with b dash where a line passing through b dash and which is perpendicular to tangent is a normal therefore giving us the outcome that equation of normal at b and b dash is y axis or x equal to 0 that is whenever i have the x coordinate as 0 i get my normal as y axis that is the x coordinate which is x1 equal to 0 implies normal is y-axis is how I conclude the formula x1 equal to 0 implies normal equal to y-axis similarly the next concept is about identifying that y1 equal to 0 implies normal is x-axis so let's see how y1 equal to 0 leads to normal as x-axis